Hi, everyone. Mr. Hawkins with Hawkins Tech. And iOS 26 is just one day away from being released. And in this video, I am going to show you how to prepare to update. Now, first, it is expected that Apple is going to release iOS 26 Beta 1 tomorrow after the Worldwide Developers Conference. And I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about installing the beta, backing up your iPhone. I won't show you that individually, but I'll just tell you where you should go to find those things, as well as everything you need to know to prepare to update. So the first thing, how do you install the beta? Well, when it becomes available, you launch open Safari and Apple's going to have to update this because they're showing iOS 18 and they will update it. I believe before the betas go live, I checked this website last year when they updated it for iOS 18, they, this website, I believe it goes down and then comes back up as they're updating it. But here is all the current softwares. When it does become time to install the beta, you will be needing to use this website. And that's the first initial thing. Sign up with your Apple ID, verify with Face ID or however it asks you. I believe Face ID is how it, will, how it will request you to sign in, as that's typically how it does it for across all of Apple software. Now, this is the very important thing. Backing up your iPhone or putting it on another device. This is what I will be doing as I'm getting the iPhone 14 at some point this month. So I'm going to be putting this beta. I will be installing the beta, but I won't be installing it tomorrow. I will be putting the public beta on my iPhone 12. whilst my iPhone 14 that I'm going to get is going to stay on the stable software. But you want to go into settings. Once you're in settings, you want to then click on your name at the top. Then you want to go to your device, in this case, my iPhone 12 product red. Once you're in there, you want to go to iCloud Backup. Now, I believe you can back up automatically. I don't have any iCloud storage, so trying to back up isn't going to work. But this is typically, I believe, how you would back up your information. It's very important that you do this because it's something that you will need to do in order to make sure that everything works seamlessly. Make sure you back up into a computer. If you don't have iCloud storage, that's a bit unfortunate, but... I am not going to install the beta on day one. For one thing, as I'm going to wait till I get my iPhone 14 and the iPhone 12 is going to stay on the stable software. That's the only way I'm going to install the beta is I don't have a computer to back up my data into. And on top of that, also don't have any iCloud storage to even complete a backup as well. So it will be unfortunate for me, that's why I'm going to wait till I get my newer device using the iPhone 12 as a stable iPhone. Once you have completed your backup, backing up your iPhone into your Windows or Mac computer, then the next thing you want to do is after you back up, make sure that you have a supported device. Currently, I believe it's rumored, but we won't know this until after tomorrow. But I believe the iPhones that is supposed to get iOS 26 are iPhone 11 and newer. My device is good as I have an iPhone 12, 
but it's iPhone 11 and newer. So if you have an iPhone 10R, 10S, and 10S Max, it is unfortunate to say that you will not be getting the new iOS 26 update. You have to have an iPhone 11 or newer. The second thing you have to make sure you have is when it does come time, enough battery. Your iPhone has to have enough battery in order to install the iOS 26 update. You have to have about 20% or higher battery. It used to be 50%, but a couple years ago with the iOS 16.5 update, I believe there was an update to that where you now only needed 20%. But if it is at 20%, I would recommend you plug it in to a charger to keep your iPhone charged so that you can run iOS 26. Once you've backed up your phone, and check your charge and enroll for the beta software program. The next thing you want to do is head over into your settings. Then go to your storage. Make sure you have enough storage. Go into here as well. If I look closely. I'm using 46.66 gigabytes of 64 gigabytes use. Currently my iPhone has 17.6. 21 gigabytes then once you go into that you want to go into your software updates you want to then go to beta updates turn on beta updates refresh the page and you will see ios 26 if you have not been following my channel for the past couple of weeks iOS 19 is what we all thought we were supposed to get. Well, Apple is actually going to change the name of iOS 19. So we're no longer getting iOS 19. We're getting iOS 26. It's going to go to a naming-based yearly convention. Since we're going to be using this software probably in the last four months of 2025, Apple makes perfect sense to call it iOS 26. Now, at first, it was quite rumored and largely rumored that we could get circular icons. The circular icons that we could get or somewhat circular icons are some, somewhat sort of based off of Samsung's One UI update. So we can get circular icons. But now I just found out that the icons are going to remain the same. That's fine because we're still going to get a lot more. It is rumored that we're going to get a glass inspired redesign where everything is going to be floating. I demonstrated this in the sports app. So if I go into different toggles here. You can see everything is a pull-out animation. Or it's a pull-up and pull-down animation. If I click into it on the right here, click into my logo, you can see everything is a pull-out animation. This is expected to see, this is expected to be across the entire iOS 26 software. When I click on my logo, everything pulls out. But when I click on these different elements, everything sort of pulls up. That's how it's supposed to be across iOS 26 in apps such as settings. We're supposed to see that in Apple Music, podcast. We're also supposed to get nutrition labels within every part of the app store. When you go into specific apps it's supposed to tell you the different accessibility features that that individual app supports. So it's quite a nice amount of updates that we're supposed to get tomorrow in iOS 26. Now, while I, while I will not be installing the beta on day one, 
I will be making videos about iOS 26 with tons of screenshots and posting them in the craft app. Now, as far as where to watch the event, you can watch the event tomorrow on June 9th at 10 a.m. Pacific Time or 1 p.m. Eastern Time. If I go to Apple's YouTube channel here, if we take a look, we have a placeholder in effect. We have a placeholder in effect for the event. The event is going to take place at 12 p.m. Central Time if you are in the Midwest. Now, I am going to do a live stream on my YouTube channel, so make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. It's called Hawkins Tech. I will be doing a live stream on my YouTube channel, and I will also post a video I will also post a video on my TikTok channel as well, which is also under the same name, Hawkins Tech. So I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Hopefully the beta runs smooth. This will be my first time installing the beta. But I am not installing it on day one. I will have a separate video for the iPad. So make sure you guys stay tuned to that. I'm Mr. Hawkins with Hawkins Tech. And I'm looking forward to tomorrow. I will have a live stream tomorrow after the event has ended. I was going to do one before. I still might. But that is hit or miss. I might do one before the event or I might not. But the biggest thing of all is you guys will see my live stream that I do after WWDC. The one I was going to do before the event was just going to talk about things that we can expect to see there. And then the one I was going to do after is going to be things that was announced. But either way, I will keep you guys posted on iOS 26. So make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel. As well as comment on this video. And also follow me on TikTok as well. I'm Mr. Hawkins with Hawkins Tech. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.